Welcome back to how to fix it. In this video, we're going to show you how to correctly time the one liter TSI engine with the correct locking tool kit. You may not be aware, but there is a lot of information about this engine having problems if not timed up correctly. You are going to want to watch till the end because there's quite a few helpful tips along the way. Before the engine is locked with the locking tool, there is one visual reference that you will need to pay attention to first. And this relates to the cam pulleys seen here. The cam tool should now locate. Take note of the notches on the back of the tool. The cam sprocket tool can only be fitted when these are in the correct position. Then the cams on the rear of the engine will lock like this. Then the remaining crankshaft tool fits in the rear of the engine of the crankcase here. Now that the engine is locked, the timing belt idler and tensioner can be removed. Now comes the important part. In order to correctly time the engine, we need to remove the covers on the cam pulleys. Then the pulleys can be loosened so that there can be slight adjustments made. This will allow the pulleys to move freely. Now, ensuring that the locking tool on the rear of the engine is in place, check that the locking tool is firmly located in the back of the cam. You can see the marks on the tool from a previous timing belt replacement. Ensure that the crank tool is located correctly by turning the crankshaft anti-clockwise slightly and checking that the tool is tight into the block ensures that this is correctly fitted. Then turn the crank clockwise until it locks up against the tool. Now, with all the lock tools in place, all that remains to do is refit the timing belt. It is worthwhile marking the belt the same as the previous belt. Those of you that have watched my previous videos will know I do this all the time. Push the belt lastly onto the bottom idler pulley and ensure even fitment throughout. All the marks should line up nicely. With the belt fitted correctly, we need, now need to tension the timing belt. This is easily done just using the supplied wrench in the timing belt locking kit. This is turned clockwise and can be seen here. Just ensure that the pointer lines up together like so. With correct adjustment, tighten the remaining bolt on the tensioner. All that's left to do now to correctly tension the belt is retighten the cam pulley bolts. These will need tightening to 50 newton meters. So to be certain that we've got it timed up correctly, remove all the timing locking pins, turn the crankshaft to full revolutions and recheck and refit all the locking tools. Now you should be happy that the belt is refitted and correctly timed and all that remains to do is rebuild in reverse order and give yourself a well deserved pat on the back. So thanks for watching. This has been how to fix it. Please give us a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe. And here's some more great videos that you can watch now.